Alexa, when and where is this fog expected? That fog will likely start around the coastline and the Big Bend start to spread inland. So late tonight, overnight into tomorrow morning, make sure you drive carefully. We could also see another foggy start to Saturday morning too. It will stay warm and pretty sticky tomorrow and into the weekend. We should trend mostly dry. There could be a couple stray showers this weekend, especially on Sunday, but the next best chance of rain won't arrive until the middle of next week. So plenty of beautiful weather to enjoy this evening will be gorgeous. We just have a few passing clouds, mostly clear skies. Really the biggest issue is the fog likely developing later tonight. We do have that dense fog advisory in effect from 10 o'clock tonight until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So give yourself a few extra minutes before you head out the door for your Friday morning commute because visibility could be impacted quite a bit, maybe even less than a half a mile in some spots. So make sure you give yourself plenty of distance between yourself and the cars around you. Temperatures should be cooling off to the mid to upper 50s to start the day tomorrow. Pretty comfortable for our morning lows, but we're trending about 15 degrees above average for our morning lows and our afternoon high temperatures yet again tomorrow. Our highs could climb to the upper 70s to lower 80s again. So we do have a forecast high of 82 degrees in Tallahassee, 81 in Bainbridge, 79 in Perry. Now the record high temperature tomorrow is 81 degrees at the Tallahassee Airport that was set back in 2007. So we'll see if we can tie it, beat it maybe by a degree. We'll see how tomorrow shakes out. But your forecast and focus does have a beautiful night on the way. Winds are pretty calm coming from the west tomorrow after the fog lifts by 9 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll see a mix of sunshine and clouds during the day. It might feel a little humid and yes, it's going to be hot. And as we go into the weekend, you'll notice a little bit more cloud cover around. Still some breaks of sunshine, but there could be very light, few and far between stray showers trying to pop up as we go into the second half of Saturday and the second half of Sunday. But really not talking much. No big deal. Absolutely not even close to a washout. Just a couple light little nuisance drizzle showers possible throughout the second half of our Sunday, especially maybe Saturday, but I'm leaning more towards Sunday and yet again on Monday. Now, as for tonight, if you plan to maybe go to Thomasville for the Victorian Christmas or just drive around the Big Bend in South Georgia and check out the lights, it's going to be a gorgeous night. Now, it feels more like beach weather, but it's a beautiful night. Just a couple scattered clouds. Temperatures in the mid 70s right now. We should be in the mid 60s by 8 o'clock tonight. Just look out for the fog that starts to creep in around 10 11 o'clock should be patchy at first then it'll start to thicken up overnight into early tomorrow morning. Here's your seven day forecast showing the warmer than average weather lasting throughout this weekend. Saturday looks great. High temperatures around 80 degrees if you prefer the warmth and then we'll start to see a cooling trend a bit heading into next week. Few scattered showers are possible on Monday. That's when temperatures should be in the mid 70s. We stay in the mid 70s until our next cold front arrives sometime Wednesday or Thursday. That's our next chance to see some scattered rain and storms, so be sure to stay tuned to get the latest info on the timing of that cold front. We can time out those rain and storms for you heading into the next couple days. Stick around. We've got much more coming up after this quick break.